Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone. Can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first on the agenda tonight is the recognition of firefighter Joe Polica on his retirement. The Range Park Fire Department recognizes any paid on call employee, any paid on call employee who puts in 20 or more years of service to the department is eligible for retirement. This past September 1st, paid on call firefighter EMTD Joseph retired from the Grange Park Fire Department with just over 22 years of service to the department and the village. Joe began employment with the Grange Park Fire Department on January 4th, 1999. Prior to such, though, he served various other fire departments. He is actually retiring with over 38 years of fire service. Before becoming an actual firefighter, Joe served as a cadet for the Lions Fire Department during high school. Back then, their department had a strong program of 20 cadets who trained alongside the firefighters and also went to the fires. They had to get to the fire on their own as they were not allowed to ride the trucks to fires. But once at the fire, Joe helped run for equipment, change breathing air bottles, and help clean and pick up the equipment and hose. Joe then went on to serve other departments, including both Stickney and Forest View. And in Forest View, he served for 17 years. Joe currently lives on Beach Avenue with his wife. His father also still lives in the Grange Park. We are glad Joe landed here in 1999 and thanked him for the many years of dedicated service to our residents. Joe, would you please step up? Chief? Joe actually had his uh, retirement party with the fire department last Monday night. Um, which I also attended briefly, and it was a great event. Uh, many firefighters were there to recognize Joe's achievements. And on behalf of the village board and the staff, Joe, I want to thank you for your service to our village and present you with a plaque with our greatest appreciation, Village of LaGrange Park, in recognition of your exemplary service to LaGrange Park Fire Department, 1999-2021. Joe, thank you. Okay, next up um, is a privilege of mine to introduce our special guest. Oh, sorry. Right. Uh, 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 it's all yours now. <laughs> <laughs> So again, it gives me a great privilege to introduce our next speaker, our best, uh, guest representative, Sean Ford. Uh, representative Ford obviously covers our district here. Uh, representative Ford has done an awful lot for the village of LaGrange Park. He always returns his phone calls. We know that we're on his list. He's done a lot for our village. Um, there's things that are going to be happening in the future. He is running for re-election in April, so we're all going to help him get re-elected. And with that, I'd like to introduce Representative Bashan Ford. Representative. Mr. President, thank you. And I 
and thank you trustees and um, all of you and happy holidays to everyone. I know the number one issue is the central area storm sewer project. And that's what the president and the trustees have been talking about for the last, I think since July, is it June or July? July. And we're gonna do everything we can to commit to making sure that we do our part to support it. And so I wanna wish everyone a happy holiday and I'm very happy and grateful to serve this part of the district. It's a beautiful district. I spent a lot of time there, you guys may not know it, I spent a lot of money at the restaurants and <laughs> spent time in the town. And so thank you also first uh, responders. Um, we were talking, the president and I and some of the trustees were talking about the person of the year. And, and I think it's Elon Musk. And we were saying that the person of the year should be first responders. It should be um, our healthcare providers, people like that. And so for that, I salute you all um, for the service that you have provided and been on the front line. I look forward to serving you. And I will continue to serve if the map holds up. And um, I will represent um, the village for a few more years. And I enjoy it. So thank you very much. And the youngest person in that room, I hope she understands she's got um, everything going for her. Um, she's the youngest, so enjoy your youth um, because it's something that you will never get back. <laughs> so, and, um, so I was talking to the principal over here, and she took over my school. I went to Weber High School, and um, my school closed down, and she became the principal at a um, school that took over the building. So it was great to sit next to her and um, talk with her. She gave me um, my... Uh, agenda what I should be doing so watch her she's here <laughs> to hold um, to stand firm for taxpayers so thank you Mr. President and I'll open for any questions if there are any. Yeah, Representative thank you um, I just want to mention that when Julie and I went to Representative's office um, not only did we get a tour of his area but we got a tour of where his home was his mother was out on the porch and we went past the school he went to yeah. and it was just delightful to be in your neighborhood and then you were able to come back and provide service like you do to your community. Yeah, I tell you, if you guys know, I live on the west side of Chicago in Austin. And I went to Helper Christians Parish. That's the parish that I um, went to, Our Lady Helper Christians. Then I moved on to Weber High School. And she took over the building. And um, then I went to Loyola. I was studying to be a priest for one year. And then I became a teacher for Chicago Public Schools. And then I... Um, came elected in 2007, so it's been a long time. And when I first got elected, I had hair. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's all gone away now. And um, I remember, um, say your name again? Amanda. Amanda, because Amanda was there before I came. And she was there, I think, right? You were there with Cross, um, later Cross, I came in 07. Got elected in 06, and you were there. there. 2002. Yeah, so she was there, and um, it was good to see her, that, see her here tonight. So thank you, President, for introducing me to that. Thank again. you. And again, when we, when the trustees and myself and Julie and staff were down in uh, Springfield for the annual drive down, we always uh, have dinner with uh, Representative at night, and it's such a pleasure yeah. and privilege. And and Mr. President, I know Trustee Bob also was. Um, advocating for um, funding for your department also because I think that there's a need for a body count and I know that it's important that we um, continue that discussion to see where we can get money because the president the president but the governor has done a 250 million dollars of reimagined I guess it's called crime or whatever so we should be to find money for your department for that because that's reimagining the way you do it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I work with trustee to see how we can uh, work with your department for that. Thank you. Anyone have any questions for Representative? Birthday girl? No, no happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> any questions? I would just like to ask you um, with regards to funding, um, do we need to write letters or do we need to call people you know what would you suggest is the best route to get uh you know 
some word out there. You know, I, I would tell you that your president and and your village uh, manager, they've been strong in okay. their efforts in Springfield. So I, I don't know if they've asked for letters of support from the trustees, but individual letters help, you know, and I, I would definitely, I mean, of course, I don't write the checks, but I do <laughs> have the ability to advocate and take it straight to the governor and to the legislature. But I think this is critical and I think Big Durbin understands it. I think um, it's federally known that it's important that we do this. The governor knows, and this is the good time to do it because the governor wants to get reelected. And so I think that we put this on the governor as well. We do have a $45 billion capital bill and we have lots of more um, build back better coming from Washington. And so I don't know another project that's more important in this town to build back better than that. Thank you. Any other questions for the representative? <coughs> representative, again, I can't thank you enough for what you do for our community. I know that we're on your radar, and we really appreciate everything you do for us. So thank you. Thank you. Have a great Christmas. Thank you. Okay, next up is public participation. Would anyone care to address the board? That's my dollar. That's my last dollar. <laughs> Would anyone care to address the board? There you go. Go get them. No? Okay. Um, other reports? Uh, Village Manager Julia is not with us tonight. Maggie, do you have a report? Sure. Just one item, Mr. President. I just have one item to report on. Uh, the village will host a Santa Parade and mobile uh, food drive this Saturday, December 18th, starting at 4 p.m. And you can find the parade route and the recommended food collection points on our village website, as well as our Facebook page. Our village clerk? I have no report, Mr. President. Okay, I, I really don't have anything except that, um, again, Saturday is the, the parade. It starts at 4 o'clock. Um, so anyone interested, I'm sure Julia has been in contact with people who maybe want to ride with the parade. Um, other than that, I hope everyone has a great holiday season, health and happiness to everyone. And I'd like to thank again Representative Ford. Thank you. Representative, again, thank you she for... Just me out. Did she? Yeah. It takes a woman, I guess. <laughs> but thank you for being here again, Representative. I know you're very busy this time of year. Thank you. Okay, public participation of non-agenda related items. Anyone care to address the board on non-agenda related items? Any new business? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned.